everyone, I'm Maya and in today's video we're in a different background. I decided to change it up again because I'm picky AF. So I thought just like sitting on a bed in like a normal room would feel a bit more comfy and personal. I don't know. Obviously if we stick to this I'll put up decorations and stuff on the walls behind me. Yeah. Anyway on to the video. So recently a clothing company called Zafool.com My accent when I try and pronounce that. Zafool. A company called Zafool.com contacted me and said Hey girl, if you make a video we can send you some clothes if you want. Come on now. I wasn't gonna say no. So yeah they were really 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 nice and they let me have Rome on their website which is dangerous. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not hiding the fact that they sent me these clothes. It was a really, really nice thing for them to do and yeah, thank you Zafool. Now on to the haul. Editing Maya is going to try and put the prices down here for you to see how much they were because honestly I went on the Zafool website to get the prices to tell you and it just died. So I'm going to put them in here but I know Zafool is known for being really, really cheap. So yeah, they won't be that bad. The first item of clothing I got is actually a bomber jacket. They've been really, really in fashion recently and I know I said I don't follow many trends but this one is just, oh, comfy. I may sound a bit bad but because the clothes are so cheap on the website I wasn't expecting very good quality. But this, honestly, it came in the post and I was like, what? It's like a teddy bear. I could go to sleep in it. I got it in black so I could wear it to sixth form because my sixth form is like black and white uniform. It's just a staple that you can wear all the time. And I'm actually really, really happy with this. So that's the first thing I picked out. Numero dos that I picked out is a long sleeve shirt. These are everywhere these days. This is like the Tumblr girl top at the minute. It's just a long sleeve top, but it's got a V-neck and it's got the little tie things. But I got it eventually. I got it in white because I just need a staple white top that I can pair with pretty much anything. My upper body measurements is UK size 10 and I got this in size medium. Quality's not too bad. And yeah, just a staple white top that I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of. <laughs> Okay, the next thing I got, you may have seen something similar before in a haul. I think I may have an obsession. I got another wool denim jacket. Basically the story Stranger Things is one of my favorite, favorite TV shows. And it's set in the 70s and everyone is wearing these in the show. And I was watching it like, huh. And this is my third one, arrest me. I really like this one though because the white isn't like white. It's kind of yellowy creamy white which makes it look even more vintage and retro and just... <laughs> this is just me in a jacket. I love it. The only downside is that the buttons spin and make a noise. But other than that, I am very, very happy. <laughs> now onto another thing I've got. You might realize that I am liking a certain color at the moment. Can anyone guess what it is? Can anyone guess? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> I picked up this extremely, extremely oversized jumper. This jumper is listed on the website as an oversized turtleneck sweater. And when it means oversized, it means oversized. Mine is in the size medium and it's huge. It engulfs me like a big marshmallow. The material isn't the softest thing in the world, but it's really, really thick. Like if you want to stay warm, best bet. I really love the color and I think this would just be a great like lazy day throw one. This is my favorite thing out of the whole thing. I got this checked mini skirt. Sorry, but like, how me is this? I literally saw this on the website and I was like, drop everything. That's in my basket. That's going straight in my basket. Again, I got mine in the size medium and it actually fits really well. This is just so retro, I love it. The only complaint is that the material is very, very thin. So it's definitely a spring or summer skirt, but it's not thin to the point where you can see your ass cheeks. Your butt will be hidden with this. <laughs> it's good enough to hide your butt, so it's good enough for me. <laughs> okay, stuff what I said about the skirt, this is my favorite thing. For the longest time, I have wanted a pair of these, and the time has finally come. I got a pair of dungarees, and they've got ripped knees and everything, and their acids wash and just whoo. I used to wear dungarees 24 seven when I was a toddler, throwback Thursday. As you can see here, I loved dungarees then and I love them now and I haven't had a pair in years. So these are just the standard long-legged acid wash dungarees with ripped knees. And I got medium again, I'm just gonna stop saying medium because I got medium and everything. But they actually fit pretty well, the legs are a tad short because I've got like really long legs. But if you roll the ends up, it looks really hipster. These are honestly my new babies, I'm gonna be wearing them every day. 
I got another skirt. Can you tell I like skirts at the minute? And again, I was thinking of things that I could wear to sixth form because I'm there five days in a week. I spend a lot, a lot of time at sixth form. If you don't know what sixth form is, it's a higher education thing. It's basically like the hard end of high school. Does that make sense? But these have mega been in fashion recently. It's just a denim A-line skirt and it's buttoned down. I think they're really adorable. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but the label says Topshop and the buttons and the label on here say Topshop as well. I mean, I'm not complaining that it looks like a Topshop skirt. It makes me look like I have the money to buy a Topshop skirt. So if you want a good Topshop A-line skirt dupe that says Topshop on it, link's in the description. But yeah, this is going to be a new six form staple and it's gonna make me look fancy when I'm not fancy. <laughs> Zafiwal is also known for their swimwear. So I picked out four bikinis and I'm gonna show you them. This is the first bikini set I got. They're just plain white in colour but the band, like the band that goes here and the one above your bum. <laughs> what? The band is black and I don't know if you'll be able to see but it says baby got back on it which I think is a song. <laughs> oh, whoa granny pants. <laughs> it looks so tumbler. They give me a Calvin Klein vibe but once again I don't have the money to buy Calvin Klein things. <laughs> so if it looks like I do that's all good. The only problem is the medium bottoms fit but the medium top doesn't <laughs> because I've been cursed with tiny tatters and a big bazonka. The next one is just so simplistic but so pretty it's unreal. It's the style where you tie it round your neck and again it's all roughly down the sides and just how cute I thought these were adorable and I could not delete them from my basket good thing about the bikinis as well is like they don't have a bra in it as such but they have like a little padded bit so your nips don't stick out <laughs> I'm not just being weird here you know what I'm talking about when it's cold it's cold <laughs> the next bikini I got is so cute it's high-waisted bottoms I like high-waisted bottoms and they've got like crissy crossy things at the back to make it look all fancy and you know what I said I like retro this matches with this again it's like a tie up halter neck spotty ensemble it is so retro and so cute but once again my boobs aren't big enough <laughs> come on I really badly want to wear this though and the very last bikini that I got it's got palm leaves printed all over it again it's like crisscrossy halter back Christ imagine me trying to get into this I'll get stuck but once again, it's got a high neck. So that is the pattern. I like the high neck. I like the razor back top. And yes, that is the final bikini I got. Once again, thank you so, so much to zafool.com for sending me all these things like, damn boy, you really pulled out the big guns. The links to their website and the links to everything in this video are in the description if you want to check them out. Once again, thank you so much to everyone who's donated to Peru. I think I'm going to do some more fundraising soon. Make sure to like and subscribe and all that jazz. And I'll see you in my next video, my little gremlins, as you all suggested that you want to be called. Strange kids. <laughs> see you later. OMG, it's Maya. She has sorted out a certain attire with makeup moments, lifestyle too. You'll never get bored. OMG, it's Maya.